Hi friends, I am Abhishek Inamdar from Keyframes Online. Welcome to my new exciting tutorial on Photoshop of photo manipulation. So this is what the photo is we will going to do. This is the original photograph and we will do something like this. So I am very exciting to share these techniques with you. So let's get started. I have started my Photoshop and I will go to file and say open. I will open my image open so the background is very awesome place in uh, Konkan region and this is my best friend Harish and we'll do some a very good effect on him so of course it, it should be very good effects also he will be very happy to see that so I'll just reduce the size of the image because it's on taken from DSLR so let's say image size I'll go to thousand you don't have to reduce the size because it's if you are seeing that source 28.7 MB and now I am working on 1.92 MB. You don't have to come down with so low size just to give a very fast results I am reducing the size but reducing the size is not recommended for you when you are doing your uh, work on your photograph. So I will just tag it over here just say control 0 it will be on 100 percent now I'll take this quick selection tool I'll select this is very fast tool to select previously we always used pen tool to get all those images so now the things are very fast Slightly ears are there. So make sure each and every surface you are taking very well. So this is surface we don't want. Just take first add. I'll press Alt on my keyboard, or you can click on minus as well. So now I will go to refine edge and uh, if you see this is a slight white line is uh, on the Harish and we can shift the edge right away. We can say smart radius and we can increase the smoothness say by 3, we can increase the feathers and it is fine just check it it's fine absolutely fine so I'll say output will be new layer I want new layer I don't want mask I'll say okay so this is what we got a separated uh, model from our background so what I'll do is I'll, I'll on this background I'll, I'll off this model and go to lasso tool select the surface to give the content of a tool what content aware does if you see uh, the background will come around the image and it will be got stitched so if you press shift backspace or if you go to edit and say fill you will get a, a fill content so it will be a foreground background color and will their content aware it's a very very superb way to get rid of uh, our background so I'll say mode should be on normal I'll say ok now it's absolutely stunning uh, it's absolutely stunning because same kind of effect if you want we have to do on stamp tool or whatever we have to go and work on stamp tool a lot more to get this image stitched and now it's absolutely it's fine we don't even have uh, can notice uh, we have a model over here so this is our model separated from the background so not on uh, what I'll do is I'll just make a new copy of it I'll say control J or you can drag same this to this layer you will get a copy 
I'll select this background layer. I'll say Control T. I'll increase the size of this little bit. Center. I'll increase. I'll say finally. Let's say add mask. Click and I'll fill with black. I'll take a jet black and fill this mask with black and click on the upper layer and say mask as well so now I'll go to brush say right click we want square brushes I'll click on this uh, small setting icon so I'll take square brushes. This is a lot more of brushes I have uh, in Photoshop. So I'll say OK. Just choose one brush. I'll go to Windows and say Brush. You will see the brush setting. So I'll say right click on Shape Dynamics. This is a size cheater. Minimum diameter. Of course we want angle jitter as well. I'll say scattering, it will get around, scatter all those square brushes here and there. And it's fine. Now what I'll do is, I'll just click on this image and go and select white. Click, click. should look like particles flowing from right to left and settling on the model. So sorry, opacity should be 100%. So now it will be a perfect Here will be more because the particles are settling towards the model. So now I'll select the upper model which we have given the mask and I'll say black. The same brush size will go and say slight. Slightly make small brush slightly to for for the faces. we want face should properly seen as well so we don't want to make any changes over here but still we want some of the small particles should be settling on his face as well So this is what I'll add, select this background image, I'll go to filter and I'll say stylize, go to wind. Of course we can give blur also, uh, motion blur, but still I believe this is the best way to show the particles are, uh, is on the wind is flowing from right to left on the settling on the model. 
so I'll say OK now I'll select this one I'll say FX I'll say crop shadow crop shadow will be slightly distance is OK and size is fine so I'll say OK so this is what uh, we have uh, done with the tutorial if you liked my lecture do subscribe my channel that is keyframes online and if you want any kind of tutorial do let me know so i can make for you so thanks for watching my lecture thank you